Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of Me Painting. Uh, today we have a 20 by 16 canvas up and I've covered it with a very thin even coat of liquid white. If you want to know how to apply liquid white, there's a video link here, or it's also there's a, a link in the description. Okay, let's get started on this one. Got a two inch brush ready, got a palette of colours ready, and I have an idea in my mind ready. <laughs> and I'm just getting some Prussian blue. Brush and blue. Just tapping, maybe a little bit brown. <laughs> Why not? Sort of graze the sky a little bit. And just tap, tap in the bristles. Just use tiny, tiny X's. Just using X's. Doing crisscross strokes, starting at the top and then working down, working down. Makes lighter and lighter towards the horizon. As the liquid white mixes with the colour. That's what you want. You want it to be a bit lighter towards the horizon. Okay. I use a clean dry brush, clean dry brush, and I'll just just go over that. Just so I get the brush strokes out very lightly. And oh, we got some water. <laughs> get some water in there as well. So I've got a little bit of a phthalo green here. So just get a little bit of that. Put it into our colour. And then we'll have some water down here. Something like that there. Throw in the colour. <laughs> okay. Can use our clean brush again. Can just go over that. Right then. Now we're going to have some like Oriental hills, like they have in China. And uh, get the uh, filbert brush. And I got some of this. Uh, Let's use the knife, it's quicker. <laughs> Let's get some midnight black. It's midnight black. A little bit of this Prussian blue. Midnight black, Prussian blue, a little bit of crimson. We'll make a, uh, a mountain mixture. A bit of this brown as well. Okay, now to see what colour we've got. Get a little bit of white. I've got like this nice grey, which is what I want. So let's pick this up. Put it out very flat, and then you cut across and you get a little roll of paint. A little roll of paint. Now let's start with this hill. So we've got a hill that sort of goes there like this. Something like that. down around and there's another one there I'd say Now using the uh, two inch brush, two inch brush, I'm just going to pull this colour out. Try and start creating the shape of the hill. 
is in the brush. So this is uh, just to get rid of the excess paint and also we can create our misty area at the base. Since that's mixed in with a liquid white. brush on the paper towel. Okay. Now then we're gonna use the fan brush quite a lot today and we're gonna use the knife as well. So let's start by mixing a colour. We want a uh, some of this some of this white a bit of this yellow ochre Give it sort of a sandier colour. yellow ochre. So make a colour up there as well. Okay, now let's uh, let's grab the uh, fan brush. Fan brush. What we're going to do is start putting in the, uh, the grass on the hills. A bit of the green. Bit of yellow. Just grab a touch of liquid white just to thin the paint a little bit. Okay. Now using the actual fan brush's shape, we can start tapping, tapping in the grass on the hill. And then certain areas where we want some of the rock showing, we can grab this door on. Just using the knife, just using the edge of the knife, and start pulling out, just cutting across a little roll of paint, little roll of paint. Just using that bit of the knife and very lightly just gliding it down we can start putting in some rocky areas that we can see maybe I'll stick some in around here as well where we're at it so it's no pressure light pressure it's just like you're putting snow on the mountains, no pressure. Wherever you like, wherever you want a bit of a, a bit of rock to show. Back to the old fan brush. some of the grass. And you're just sort of tapping, just tapping and keep loading your brush. And you can work in layers as well. About where the light's going to hit, so maybe uh, maybe in this one, create our highlight color. Maybe the light is coming through there, and it's hitting this this side. So then we want our lightest color to 
Yeah, over here. edge and go back into a darker darker green sap green but a yellow ochre yellow and all the white just tapping the bristles thinking about that layer moving back over to this one Swapping colours as well, going areas that you think is darker, get the darker colour, areas that are lighter, get the lighter colour. <laughs> it's that easy. You can start building it up. Just don't forget to keep loading your brush. Keep loading it. I can even grab some of this really dark. Get some sap green in there. Have it nice and dark. You can put some areas that the sun isn't hitting much. Just grab my. Uh, Grab my knife, some of this pure, almost pure colour, <laughs> yellow ochre and white. Just pull it out very flat, cut across, and then roll the paint. And then roll the paint. Maybe some of these areas that are hitting the light, you can highlight them as well. as well so getting a bit more light you can do that as it goes over we can go back to the door color Okay. And again. 
get that obvious separation there. And then we've got this one up here as well. So let's get some more of this green. But you can use your brush, brush to create the shapes. some grass grass at the bottom you can just pull that in doesn't really matter sort of uh, use it to soften the base of the hills just by uh, pulling over it or you can use your bigger brush to do that it's up to you I've got this brush going so might as well use it. You get to, once you've done a few paintings, you get used to all the brushes. And then you start, whatever brush you've got in your hand, you just use it. <laughs> you can always grab the uh, this one inch brush, sort of soften it. Just give it a bit of a move there. <laughs> okay, now we've got this these hills and it's sort of you know, we've got a little bit of a reflection in. Just grab a bit of green. a bit of a reflection in there and in this one as well grabbing a bit of a yellowy colour as well just to throw in. <laughs> We've got some in there as well. And uh, grab a clean dry two inch brush. Just lightly just pull that down. And then across. Give that a little wiggle. Okay, I'm using a uh, landscape knife. Landscape knife. I grab a little bit of the liquid white. A bit of liquid white there. Tiny bit of blue. Spin that around a little bit and then using the top of the knife, just like that, you just uh, pull, pull it out flat and go and cut across that way. And then you get it on the top of your knife. Now then we want our water line to be right there. Using the bottom of the canvas, trying to straight as you can Some little lines and there just to uh, separate things you can put a few a few little more lines on, on there as well Now then, this water in the, I mean this grass, sorry, in the front, I'm just going to thicken it a little bit, just by touching and pushing, just to give it a bit more body to it. <laughs> I 
I want it to look a bit rougher. I want the grass to be grown. Going in between the colours. That's that green. So we're working in layers. Start light and dark. It's also something else you can do. Grab some of this dark. darken this area. Where some of the, the hills kind of cast in a, a shadow. More so on this side. that in. When you've got a lot of time you can really experiment with that. Okay, just, just push it in some nice little grassy areas down here and maybe maybe there's a tree that sort of lives there. Let's grab the same dirty brush. <laughs> Grab some Van Dyke Brown, a bit of dark sienna. Maybe, maybe right here. And there's a tree. And there's there. Tiny bit of this white, dark sienna, a bit of crimson as well, just to get like a pinky brown. Not a crimson, that's better. And then we can highlight this side. The tree. Can always pull it. Together. I want to go a bit more dark actually. A bit darker. Let's make this tree a bit bigger. Just going to soften that edge. Okay, now then with the liner brush, let's get a little bit of uh, a little bit of paint thinner. Let's get some of this brown. A bit of this brown. And let's start putting on some branches. Let's have one that goes sort of there. I'm sort of pulling them towards the tree so you can see a bit better because when I do it like this you can hardly see what I'm doing but sometimes I like to do the branches like that so it's up to you how you want to do yours give them little wiggles as well but as many do you want? Maybe there's a branch there. Maybe this one here as well. Wherever you like. Wherever you want them. Okay, now using a fan brush, let's get some of this crimson, which 
just a little in crimson. I want to put the uh, leaves in this tree, sort of like a maple maybe. <laughs> I'm just going to touch and push up, touching and pushing. dark the leaves and some of these branches all show through but some of them will be lost but that's okay because it tends to look more three-dimensional if you put it all in like this you want your branches already in there just sends the branches back that way Okay, yeah, we'll leave that as the dark and then uh, get some of the white. Pull it over here. Get a little bit of liquid white. And this can be our highlight. Just touch and push. And I'll highlight some of these areas. Make sure you keep some of these dark areas as well as you're putting in all your individual branches. Something like that, and then uh, we can use our fan brush. Maybe we can grab a bit more sun green, and then we've got our light coming this way. So we can put a little bit of a bit of a shadow in there. So push some green up against it. <laughs> Okay, something like that. Nice, fun, fun little painting. <laughs> I'll uh, just get my fan, my liner brush out. Sorry, liner brush. We'll uh, give this one a signature. Grab some of this white, pinky white. Spin the bristles. Spin bristles. We'll put in a little G. G. And a little bird for the masters. Okay, thank you very much for watching this painting. It's a little bit different to the other ones I've done, and hope you give it a go. Cheers, bye.